Hello and welcome back to the Wasteland everybody, welcome back to Fallout New Vegas where we once again have another tier list here. This time we're going to be going all over all of the glasses and the hats in New Vegas. This won't be all of the headgear because we still have helmets and technically there's another category that's just considered headgear. Which is kind of weird, but it is kind of its own separate thing. And we have a bit of a different tier list this time. We have just the best. These are like the best in slot that we can have. Or some of the best in slot, whatever they might be. A plus, which is basically anything that's kind of nice to carry around. It may not be the best overall, but at least it gives you something. Uh, this can be good, which is you have something on it, like a plus one to something. And then purely cosmetic, which is basically anything that doesn't actually give you armor. A lot of the hats are kind of like this. So that, that's kind of why it's got its own tier list. Let's begin with our first pair of glasses. And this is actually going to cover all of the glasses that are not unique. So this is the authority glasses, eyeglasses, reading glasses, sunglasses, the different sunglasses, because there's two different versions of it, tinted reading glasses, and the tortoise shell glasses. These are all technically considered different glasses, but they all do exactly the same thing. None of them weigh anything, so they're all zero weight. They all have zero damage threshold, so you don't get any armor from putting glasses on. And they all give you plus one perception, with the exception of if you have the trait four eyes, which will give you plus two perception. Now, I have a whole video talking about why four eyes is a terrible trait, and you probably should never take it. Unless you're going with a very specific build, like maybe you're trying to do an almost perfect character, but even then I don't think that four eyes is a really good one for that. So the regular glasses still, plus one perception is nice. Plus two perception if you have four eyes, which I don't think is a good idea, but plus one perception is nice. You can get these right at the start, they're all over the place. This will give you plus two to your explosives, your energy weapons, and your lockpicking. Lockpicking is going to probably be the big one there for most players, but if you're doing an explosives run or an energy build run, you will get a little bit stronger. Not very much, two more points doesn't matter too much in those skills, but it's something. So uh, these ones I would put in the can be good. You're probably going to swap them out for any of the unique glasses though as it goes on, or swap them out for a helmet. Then we have Dr. Klein's glasses from Old World Blues. This one does actually have one damage threshold, so you do get at least one armor from this. It does weigh something at a quarter of a weight, so not very much, you're probably not going to notice it. And this one gives you plus one perception, plus one intelligence, and plus five repair to it. That's really good. That's a huge bonus. More repair makes it so that we can repair things quicker. We actually get even more from this thanks to intelligence, and we still get the perception, so we get bonuses there. For intelligence, we get bonuses in science, medicine, and repair. So that's plus two in all those, assuming you're not maxed out on intelligence. This one is really good. I would say that it is probably one of the best, because it is if you need repair. Then we have Dr. Mobius' glasses, which can also be found in Old World Blues, and this one's even better. This one also has one damage threshold, also weighs a quarter of a weight, and this one gives you plus 10 explosives and plus 2 intelligence, and then plus 1 perception. That's really nice. This is essentially plus 12 to your explosives, which is pretty good. Then we also have another plus 2 to intelligence, so that can help with intelligence checks. It can also help with medicine, repair, or um, science checks. All of that's really good. This one's even better than Dr. Klein's, and I'd put it up in the best as well. And then we have the Lucky Shades. The Lucky Shades are a unique set of glasses that you get from the Caesar's Legion safe house. You do have to at least be liked by Caesar's Legion or loved by them. You don't have to be idolized. I think it's just liked. You have to be liked by them and then they give you access to this. And these glasses have zero damage threshold, so no armor on it. They do weigh one, so they are the heaviest glasses, but one weight doesn't matter. And these ones give you plus two perception and plus one luck. So this can be really good for a crit build, which almost every build benefits from besides explosives, but this does give you two, plus two perception, so it's also kind of useful on explosives. And it also makes it so you can gamble better, which is great. You can take this plus the Naughty Nightwear uh, right to Vegas and have plus two luck that way. That's a really good option. And this one would also go right up into the best. It's one of the best glasses in the game. And that actually does it for all of our glasses. Now we move on to the different hats, and our very first one is the first Recon Beret, which is one of the best hats in the entire game. You get this from doing Boone's Quest, or at least the very start of Boone's Quest, and this one doesn't protect for anything. It weighs one, it gives you plus one perception, and it gives you 5% crit chance, which is really good. That's a huge amount of crit chance. It's one of the highest bonuses that you can get, and you can throw this on with the Lucky Shades, and you can throw on an armor like Ulysses' jacket or Joshua Graham's outfit and get even more luck chances which is really good. That means even more crits, unless you're using an explosives build, in which case that's not really that impressive. But for every other build, th they'll really like it. So yeah, this one's going right up into the best. It is one of the best early game clothing, attire things that you can get. 
and it can serve you basically all throughout the game. So yeah, right up there. And then we've got the baseball cap with glasses. And a lot of these hats are gonna seem really similar to one another here in a second because they all basically are the same. And they're all probably gonna go into like the, it can be good tier because the baseball cap and glasses doesn't protect for anything. It weighs one and it gives you plus one perception. That's nice. Plus one perception is super easy to get though. So like, it's not unneeded. It's just, there's so many hats that do this so many and all the pairs of glasses that do this, that it's just such a common thing to get. Now you can stack these on top of one another. You can stack like a hat and glasses on there and get plus two perception. That way you can get another uh, four points to like your lock picking, which can be pretty useful. And then you could stack it up even higher with something like mint hats. So you can stack all these little uh, small pluses together and actually get really decent uh, rewards from them. It's just by themselves, they're just kind of nice to have like a single one of these on you. You don't need to be carrying around multiple. Up next is the boomer's cap, which this one is the same as the previous one we just talked about, plus one perception, nothing else crazy. Then we've got the boomer's helmet. This one is slightly better because this is plus one perception, but this actually has one damage threshold on it. Having one more armor on it isn't really that great. So I'm going to put this one at the very top of this tier, but it's not anything crazy. It still weighs one, still gives you one perception. It's kind of whatever. The boomer's hat is exactly the same as the boomer's cap. So it's going to go into the, it can be good. And then up next we have Boone's Beret. Boone's Beret is technically one that you're not probably going to get. You can spawn this in if you would like. And this one doesn't protect for anything. It weighs 0.1, which is interesting. And then doesn't have any sort of effect. So this one is purely cosmetic. You, there's nothing else that you're going to be using Boone's Beret for. And you don't even really need it when the first recon beret is exactly the same as it in every single way, except for in name. Then we've got the bandana. Bandana is the same as all these other ones. Zero armor, one weight, plus one perception. Cool. Uh, beret, beret is basically the same as Boone's. It weighs 0.1, doesn't have any defense, doesn't come with any bonuses. So it's purely cosmetic. It's just, if you want to put a green beret on over the red beret, you can do that. Then we have Caleb's hat, which Caleb's hat is also going to go into the cosmetics because this is zero weight, zero armor, doesn't do anything, and it's mostly just for a quest. You just have to take this off of Caleb and then bring it back to uh, the Atomic Wrangler to finish up the quest. How you want to take it off of him, that's your choice, but the, the hat itself doesn't really do anything. And then we've got a bunch of these like old cowboy hats, and I'm not even sure if I have this in the right order. So first up is supposed to be the Cattleman's hat, and this one protects for one, weighs one, and it gives you plus one perception. So it's also gonna go up here because it's as good as the Boomer's helmet. Then we've got Chalk's headdress. This is follow Chalk's hat that you get at the end of Honest Hearts. This one weighs three, protects for one, and it gives you plus five melee weapons. That's not too bad. There's not a whole lot of things that just get you plus more to melee weapons. So if you wanna run to Honest Hearts early, you can do this and have an okay, hat if you want to do a melee weapons build. So I'm going to put this in the A+. Then we have the construction helmet. You can find these in a couple of DLCs. You can find it in Old World Blues, The Lonesome Road, and in Dead Money. There's a couple different helmets that you can get there. This one protects you for two, weighs three. Two armor isn't really that great. It's okay for headgear. It's okay for like what would be a helmet, but it doesn't come with any other bonuses. So I think I'm going to put this in like the A+. Plus if you want to wear it, but it's on like the very low end or like the, it can be good. Then we have the Dapper Gambler hat. This one gives you plus one to your perception and all the same things as all these other ones. No defense, one weight. Then we've got Daniel's hat. Daniel's hat is a little bit of an interesting one because this one weighs one, protects for one, and this one gives you plus one perception and plus five speech. Plus five speech is really good. Plus five speech, you can throw this on like the Naughty Nightwear and then you'll have another five points to speech so you can get plus 15 to that. That's pretty good. Speech is the most common skill check that you're gonna go through. So I would also put Daniels up into the best because um, I don't really think there's another hat that really gives you anything close to this. There's like one that gives you charisma and that's it. Then we have the Desperado hat. This is just another cowboy hat. So it's going up into the can be good. Then we have the destroyed party hat, which doesn't protect you at all. Weighs one, doesn't have any effect. So it's going to the cosmetics. Then we've got the Enclave officer hat. This one you do have to spawn in if you want it in New Vegas. You can't get it otherwise. And this one protects for zero, weighs one, and gives plus five energy weapons. I'm going to put this in the A+, plus because plus five energy weapons is pretty cool. Then we've got Eulogy Jones's hat. This one is kind of a reference from Fallout 3, but you can get it in New Vegas. It's kind of a weird way that you got to get it, where you have to keep tipping a ghoul in Freeside, and then eventually he'll have this on his head. I don't remember exactly how many times you have to tip him, like 10 or 15 or something like that. 
and then if you kill him or you reverse pickpocket this, you can get it. This one doesn't protect you at all. It weighs one and it gives you plus one charisma, which plus one charisma is pretty good. Charisma skill checks are pretty common. This does count for speech and barter, which are the two most common checks as well. So I'd put this in A+. I don't think it's as good as Daniel's hat because plus five speech is going to be usually more useful than plus one charisma, but there are some instances where this one could be better. Then we've got the fancy gambler hat, same as the other gambler hat. It's you're just going to go into the, it can be good, it's plus one perception. <laughs> then we've got the fedora, which doesn't do anything, so it's going to go into the cosmetics. We've got the head wrap, which doesn't do anything, literally nothing. It doesn't weigh anything, it doesn't protect you at all, doesn't have anything to it. So again, purely cosmetics. Then we've got Jessup's headband. This one protects for zero, weighs one, and gives you plus one perception. For this being like a unique item and it being the same as every other hat, it's just going to go into the it can be good. It, it's kind of a bummer that this doesn't give you something else. Then we have the old cowboy hat, plus one perception. You know where this is going. <laughs> then we've got the park ranger hat. This one's a little bit different. This one you can find a couple of them across uh, Zion in Honest Hearts, where this one protects for one, weighs one, and it gives you plus one perception and plus five survival. Plus five survival isn't greatly needed in a lot of instances. It can make it so food is a little bit better on like hardcore or just in regular, it can heal you a little bit more. And it makes it so you can unlock certain recipes. So it's not useless, but I'm just going to put it in like the A+. It's fine if you want to carry this around on you just so that you can have it. Then we've got the party hat, same as the destroyed party hat, just this one looks nicer. So it's going to go into the cosmetics. Then we've got the police officer hat, which gives you plus one perception, weighs one. It's the same as these other hats. We've got the pre-war baseball cap, plus one perception, same as all these other hats. Then we've got the pre-war bonnet, this one also, plus one perception, nothing else. The pre-war hat, plus one perception, nothing else. A lot of these hats are kind of the same. Then we've got the ranger hats. So we've got the regular ranger hat. This one doesn't actually do anything, doesn't even give you bonuses. So this one's purely cosmetic. It does weigh one, but other than that, it's just cosmetic. Same thing goes with the Ranger Grey hat, exact same stats across the board, and same goes with the just regular Ranger hat, although this one doesn't weigh anything, so it's slightly better, but it's still purely cosmetic. Oh, and same goes with the Ranger Tan hat, I forgot how many Ranger hats there are. They're all just purely cosmetic, they don't actually, like, give you anything. Then we've got the Rat and Cowboy hat, this one protects for one, weighs one, gives you one perception, it's gonna go into the can be good. Next hat is the Roving Trader hat, this one gives you plus five barter, it weighs one, counts for one. I would say this one's a little bit higher because this like plus five barter is nice. So I'd put it in the A plus. Up next is Sheriff's hat. Same as all these other hats. Plus one perception. Nothing else. Then we've got the Storm Chaser hat. Same as these other ones. Plus one perception. Nothing else. And then we've got the Stylish Gambler hat. Same type of thing. It's going right up here. The Swap Gambler hat. Also going right up here. These are all just like the same hat. They're just different cosmetics. They're all okay because plus one perception is okay. Then we've got the Tuxedo hat which I wish was a little bit different because it's actually just the same as these. It looks a bit nicer and I wish it had like charisma or speech or something on it, but it's just plus one perception. Uh, actually, all of these remaining hats are all the same. They're zero armor, one weight, and plus one perception. This is Vance's hat. It goes up here. Vicky's hat goes up here. And then we have the well-heeled gambler's hat, which also goes up here. So a lot of hats that are very boring to talk about. They're purely cosmetic. A lot of hats that are just cosmetic and don't really do anything. And then up here is basically the hats and the headgear that you actually want to be using. So you want to be using things like the First Recon Beret, the Lucky Glasses, Mobius, and Klein's Glasses. Maybe some of these other ones like Eulogy Jones's hat or a Roving Trader hat. These ones can all be good, and these ones at the start are fine. Plus one perception is perfectly fine. You're probably going to switch this out for a helmet of some sort or you're gonna go for like the glasses and the headgear like up here and that kind of makes the most amount of sense. Next time we're gonna be talking about the helmets which I think that there's gonna be a lot more variety to them and not just the same type of thing over and over. Thank you guys so very much for watching this. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye bye!